What's up guys? Manny Rocks with another video. This is the latest pickup. It's been a little while since I recorded a video. Um, you guys can probably tell what it is already. I did unbox this ahead of time. Got a little uh, excited to get these in. Get this box open. Okay. Up top you've got generic dust bags. Nothing special there. <clears throat> got a receipt from Adidas. These were shipped in from overseas. So there is the shoe right there. I'm going to circle back make sure I can get this focused correctly and might actually adjust the camera angle here. Okay, so this is the Adidas Yeezy 750 with the glow sole at the bottom. Um, you know, I'll go ahead and say it that I'm completely eating my words here with this shoe because it was absolutely gorgeous when it came out. Even now, I just think it's it's a totally, totally dope shoe. Um, I was one of the guys talking shit about uh, the early 750s, the white sole with the uh, gray top on them. <clears throat> so, like I said eating my words for that, but I thought this shoe really, really hit it out of the park. I think the color of the sole here at the bottom, combined with the updated color of the gray, was pretty phenomenal. Got thick rope laces with the strap that has the Adidas logo, and then the other <coughs> strap has the Yeezy logo. Um, but I think... I think Adidas really hit it out of the park on that one. Let's see, get that focus there. Um, interestingly enough, this is one of those shoes that is incredibly big in size. Um, let's see if I can zoom in on some of the details here. Let's see the boost here at the bottom it's got the little uh little patterns in there and i'm sure that's gonna come up when people start to do some legit checks on these um some of the regular adidas tags like i said these are an overseas pair uh, you can see that the details on these are pretty phenomenal the strap there and uh you know as far as sizing goes these run super big i went pretty much an entire size down. You know, I'm a normally a seven and a half size shoe and ended up getting a six and a half. As much as it hurt my ego to do that, um, got them in. I was a bit skeptical at first. I never th knew that s companies would really vary their sizes that much, but uh, sure enough, they fit like a glove. Local buddy of mine that uh, has the same size shoe as I do. We do some deals from time to time. And he was telling me that uh, he ended up getting a size 6. And it fit perfect. So, after he told me that, I kind of went on the hunt and you know, found out real quick how more than one per person was saying that these were just huge on the sizing. Not so much on the ankle, or on the ankle zip up. But uh, either way, six and a half seemed to work perfect. Quality materials there. Uh, you got the plush leather on the inside, right in there. Uh, also, a reinforced zipper, the YKK zipper, which hopefully is going to work much better than what uh, Kanye had going on before. <clears throat> but there you have it, guys. That is the. Yeezy 750 uh, in the gray and gum bottom colorway. Uh, I do think it's an absolutely gorgeous shoe. It's the first uh, 750 that I actually liked. The triple black 750s or the all black 750s were were cool in their own regard, but I didn't really get head over heels over them. But these guys just uh, really hit it out of the park for me so I'm super stoked I'll get them on foot here pretty soon 
Uh, but that's it. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe down below. And hopefully I can get on the ball and uh, make some more videos of these or some other shoes. Um, but uh, let me know what you think. If you aren't already doing so, follow me on Instagram at Manny Rocks. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned for some more. All right, guys, catch you later.